Do you see God as a good father? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. Have you ever been to Costa Rica? Well, that's where today's Devo is set. So I encourage you to stick around for today's story, Same God by Davis McMurphy. It was a sweltering Sunday. We were a few days into a missions trip and I decided this must be the usual climate in Costa Rica. The small church was filled with people. There was no air conditioning. We were on the third hymn when my vision began blurring. All I could think was, I need water. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was gripping the back of the pew. Soon, I felt my dad's strong arms. He carried me from the stuffy sanctuary into the small church office. A few years after this experience, someone shared with me that he viewed God as a disappointed father, a father who would point his finger and judge you. Yes, scripture says that God will judge all of our hearts, yet I reminded that person the same God who is a righteous judge loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for our sins so we could be forgiven. God saves us because of his mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us new birth and new life through the Holy Spirit. Though it is in God's character to judge our hearts justly, it is also in his character to pursue us with love. That morning in Costa Rica reminds me of God's grace. I had not heeded what my dad wisely advised me, to stay hydrated. So I suffered from dehydration. However, my dad picked me up when I was too weak to walk and carried me to safety. This is what God does for us too. Yes, God always wants us to listen to him and to bring our thoughts, words, and actions in line with his good ways. Yet the same God knows we fall short and through Jesus, he saves us from sin and death and offers us a life free from shame and condemnation. A life lived in the fullness of God's grace and love. He is our advocate, savior, and father. He cannot be divided. He is all of his attributes at the same time and in complete fullness because he is the same merciful God. So let's talk about this a little bit more together. When do you struggle to see God as a good father? Why do you think this might be? Consider taking some time to tell God how you feel. You can bring him all your questions, doubts, anger, fear, sorrow, and disappointment. And you can ask him to show you his true character as a good father, savior, and advocate all in one. He will be faithful to do this. We can be sure God is a good father because he mercifully sent Jesus. Do you know someone who is struggling to see God as a good father? Consider taking some time to pray for them. As you and I can read in Titus 3, 4 through 5, But when God, our Savior, revealed His kindness and love, He saved us. Not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. Now I encourage you to read in your Bible, Romans 2, 9-16, as well as Romans 3, 21-31, and Titus 3, 3-8, to keep God's Word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Did you know that we actually have an Unlocked app? Well, we do. Check it out on any major Play Store. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotional called Reflections of the Cross with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.